I will be all curing medicine. A doctor that can cure anything. A doctor that can cure countries. Because there is no such thing as an incurable disease. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we are going to be taking a closer look at the adorable doctor, and let's face it, mascot of the Straw Hat Pirates, Tony Tony Chopper. Tony Tony Chopper is an incredibly cute humanoid reindeer with an expertise in the field of medicine. He is extraordinarily kind, loyal, entirely incapable of taking compliments, and possesses a dream of one day being able to cure all disease. Chopper was born on Drum Island in the Grand Line as a regular old reindeer. Well, except for the fact that he had a blue nose, which proved to be quite a stigma actually, as his entire herd treated him as an outcast because of it. Chopper was further ostracized from the herd when he ate a devil fruit known as the Hito Hito no Mi, a Zoan type fruit that allows its user to transform into a human. As a result of his newfound intelligence, Chopper became acutely aware of how he was being treated, and so Chopper attempted to find his own place of belonging amongst fellow humans. However, they considered him to be a Yeti-like monster, and shot him out of fear. Chopper would then be rescued by a complete quack by the name of Dr. Hirolok, who was able to earn Chopper's trust by stripping naked, showing that he had no weapons or intentions of hurting the humanoid reindeer. Hirolok then took him in, and Chopper experienced kindness for the first time in his life. Chopper then went on to become Hirolok's assistant, and despite the fact that he was an absolutely abysmal doctor in almost every way, Hirolok became Chopper's role model and taught him his philosophy of a Jolly Roger being a symbol of strength and vitality. However, unbeknownst to Chopper, Hirolok's health was decaying rapidly, which led the old quack to kick Chopper out as he did not want the young reindeer to watch him die. When Chopper became aware of the situation, he vowed to save his mentor and recalled a particular mushroom that was rumored to heal every illness. He then raided Hirolok's medical books and found a mushroom with a skull and crossbones next to it, which Chopper took to be the symbol of a Jolly Roger, something that he had been taught was a symbol of strength. Chopper then journeyed across Drum in search of the mushroom, which required him to cross through the territory of his former herd. Upon seeing Chopper, the herd leader immediately attacked him with the intent to kill, forcing Chopper into a desperate battle for life, which he won, barely, and as a result, he was able to claim the needed mushroom. He returned to Hiroluk to present the cure, and unbelievably touched by Chopper's actions, Hiroluk ate the mushroom to show his gratitude despite knowing that it was poisonous. Before the poison could claim his life, Hirolok committed suicide by blowing himself up in front of the drum castle. Following this, Chopper was taken in by one of Hirolok's colleagues, Dr. Kureha, who spent six years teaching him real medicinal practices, and Chopper himself made a vow that he would one day become a truly great doctor. Chopper proved to be an incredible student, and was even able to take his medical knowledge to the point where he began experimenting with drugs to enhance his devil fruit abilities. In particular, he developed the Rumble Balls, which allow Chopper to access transformative states outside of the standard three forms granted by a Zoan fruit. Although this experimentation did also result in the discovery of a form too powerful for Chopper to control, known as Monster Point, which occurred when Chopper consumed three Rumble Balls in under six hours. During this time, the tyrannical king of drum, Wapol, was forced to flee the island after after an invasion at the hands of the Blackbeard Pirates. After which point, Chopper and Kureha decided to set up shop in the Drum Castle. Shortly after that, the Straw Hat Pirates landed on Drum in search of a doctor to heal their sick navigator, Nami. After climbing bare hand to Drum Castle, Luffy delivered Nami, Sanji, and by that point himself, and all three of them were treated by the duo of doctors. After recovering from her sickness, Nami invited Chopper to join their crew. However, he refused immediately due to his deep distrust of humans. This changed when Luffy helped them defeat Wapol, who had come to reclaim his kingdom, and Chopper eventually realized that he would need to set out to sea in order to broaden his medical knowledge and work towards his dream. From then on, Chopper has sailed with the crew from island to island and has been absolutely integral in quite literally keeping them alive. As the youngest crew member, Chopper fits in quite nicely with the more wacky members of the crew, such as Luffy and Usopp, and quite frequently gets caught up in their shenaniganry. Despite that, it should be noted that the crew treats him with the utmost respect, particularly Robin, with whom Chopper shares an affinity for reading and academic pursuits. Throughout his journey, Chopper has also abided by a strict doctor's code, prioritizing healing and kindness in every possible situation. Furthermore, Chopper becomes highly enraged whenever he encounters a doctor who does not live by these principles, such as Dr. Hogback or Caesar Clown. But in addition to his medical knowledge, Chopper possesses a variety of other skills, most notably in that he is able to speak to animals of seemingly any kind, which sort of makes sense because he was originally a reindeer, but also doesn't because it presents the idea that all animals have some sort of universal language, but uh, no, there you go. By necessity, Chopper has also greatly increased his physical strength while traveling throughout the Grand Line, and has even found himself in situations where it was necessary to act 
activate Monster Point despite his lack of control over it. And all of those efforts have earned some recognition from the world government who awarded Chopper a bounty of 50 berries. Not 50 million, because in reality he was mistaken as a mere pet of the Straw Hat crew. After being separated from the crew by Bartholomew Kuma, Chopper found himself in the Torino Kingdom in South Blue. Here, Chopper prevented a war between a race of humans and birds by acting as an interpreter between the two. And he then went on to spend two years studying medicine in their extensive library. When Chopper finally reunited with the crew, he brought a vast wealth of knowledge with him, as well as a whole host of new transformations such as Kung Fu Point, as well as finally being able to control the extraordinarily powerful Monster Point. And so Chopper continued his journey by passing through Fishman Island and into the New World, diligently working towards his dream of one day being able to cure all disease. Some more fun facts about Chopper. Chopper's character is very possibly based on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer due to the similarities of being shunned because of their uniquely coloured noses. Additionally, Chopper's birthday also happens to be on Christmas Eve. Chopper's monster point staunchly resembles the form of a Wendigo, a figure of Native American folklore strongly associated with winter and coldness in general. And with that theme in mind, in colder climates there is a particular running gag in the series where a member of the crew will generally ask Chopper to take off his fur to be used as a coat, which Chopper always falls for before he exclaims that his fur cannot be removed. Chopper's favourite type of foods are anything sweet, such as chocolate and candy. This has even led to him being given the epithet of cotton candy lover Chopper by the world government on his bounty posters. Speaking of bounties, Chopper's was finally increased from a mere 50 berries following the events of Dressrosa, when it was doubled to, uh, 100 berries. And finally, a truly useless fact. When Yuriko Yamaguchi, the voice of Nico Robin, was questioned as to which flower Chopper resembled most, she replied that he most resembles a tulip. And that pretty much does it for Chopper. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way inclined to help support this independent channel, then also feel free to check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured on the next One Piece 101.